In this tutorial, we'll show you how to make the trigger to end a level. Here we have a room with an exit area that will be the end of our level. We first create the trigger brush and place it at the exit area. We right click, go to apply entity, go to trigger, and select change level. We need to modify some properties. Here the map field specifies the next level that we want Quake to load. If this field is left blank, then Quake will load this same level again. For this example, we'll enter start in the map field, which is the name of the starting level for Quake. If we want to control the levels ending manually, we would need to assign a target name to our change level entity and link other triggering entities to it. If we want Quake to display a view of our map during the intermission in between levels, we need to add a camera entity into our map. We right click, go to add entity, go to info, and select intermission camera. We then position our camera entity in the map where we want the view to be.